Hi everyone, my name's Shikemi and I'm a second year geography student at Murray Edwards College. Today I'll be taking you through a typical day in my life as well as answering any questions that you might have. So the time is currently just before 9.45. I actually woke up at nine. I've just been getting myself ready for the day. And my typical morning routine looks a bit like waking up, checking my emails, having a shower and brushing my teeth, getting ready for the day, and then looking at my calendar to see what I have on my to-do list. And today is actually a really busy day and I'll just share what I have to do with you in a sec. I have a coffee to hand. I'm going to have a quick look over my essay for the supervision that I have in about 10 minutes and then I will debrief you afterwards. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, I'm going to leave a question box here um, and some ideas of things that you might want to ask me about as well. I have just finished up with breakfast, so I'm going to answer a few questions before I head off to my lecture. But in terms of rooms at college, all first years live in accommodation on site called Pal House. And all of the rooms are really big and they're all en suite as well. From second year onwards, you get a bit more choice about where you live. And I currently live in a college owned house just across the road from college, so not too far away. But most second years live in accommodation called Orchard Court, which is also on site. And then in third year, you also get choice about where you live. And there is a really large range of accommodation to suit different choices, um, whether you want en suite, um, whether you want to share and stuff like that. So um, if you want more details, just head over to the Murray Edwards website. So here is a quick room tour for you guys. I actually have two parts to my room, which is really cool. I really love my room this year, but here it is. So this is just an overview of the main room. And then you can see through there that that's where my bed is. This is the door you walk into to get into my room. And then you've got some storage space in here and a nice mirror. And then over here, you've got a chair and a desk chair and a desk as well, which every room will have along with a lamp. And I have a really nice view out onto the road oh, and it's a really nice day as well. Um, and then I've got my pin board and whiteboard where I write my to do list, which is obviously a couple of days behind at the moment. Um, and then just over here, there's more storage space. I also love plants. So I have a few plants in my room as well. I wish I could have more, but I don't trust myself to look after them. Um, but then through here, you've got my main room. So some more wardrobe space and then my bed, of course, um, and another desk over here. And then I've got a nice view onto our garden, which we share with the house next door, which is also a Medwood's owned house. I've just left and I'm on my way to my lecture. It's about a 20 or 25 minute walk. Um, a lot of people cycle to lectures, but I didn't bring my bike with me. And personally, I quite like the walk into town and back out of town after lectures because it gives me a break from work and a chance to get some fresh air. I am back in my room now, back from Gateway. I'm still wearing my puffer coat because it's absolutely freezing outside and I am so cold. Um, but Gateway is really good. I had a really nice chat with the first years and I think Gateway is a really great way to meet people from other years. Just like when I was in first year, I met um, people in the year above me doing geography at Medwoods. So I definitely recommend engaging with Gateway at, uh, all through your time at Medwoods. I'm about to go make dinner and I'll probably log off soon after that. So if you have any last minute questions, feel free to put them in the question box that I'm going to put just below. Um, and I will be sure to answer them after I've eaten. So for those of you who don't know, I run a podcast called Generation C with my friend. I will link it below. Um, and we started it because A, we were bored during lockdown. B, we both love talking. And C, we wanted to fill a gap in the market and talk about issues faced by our generation. Recording it is actually quite simple. We just hop on a Zoom call and have the discussion. We do a bit of planning before, but we like to make it quite relaxed. 
um, and then we just record the Zoom call and then edit it and post it on Spotify, Apple Music and a few other streaming platforms. But I found it's been a really great way to speak to people from different sectors and from different parts of life and I've actually learned so much from it so feel free to check it out and if there are any episodes you want us to cover then send us a message. So I haven't actually had any contact with the equestrian team, I don't know anyone who's in it either so unfortunately I don't know the answer to your question but if you send an email to the email that's linked to this page then they should be able to direct you to the relevant people to find out more. After uni I want to be a commercial lawyer so I want to work at a city law firm so I'm currently attending lots of insight schemes and open days just to get a lot of experience and I'm also currently writing applications which is really busy but I'm really excited and can't wait. A really nice question to end the day but what is my favourite part of the day? Um, right now I definitely say it's getting into bed because I'm exhausted and I've had a really long day but generally I really like seeing my friends. I haven't seen a lot of my friends today because I've been really busy but that's another thing I really enjoy. That is all from me today. I'm about to get into bed and have a really early night, I think. Um, but I just wanted to say that, as I mentioned before, this was just a really busy day in my life and every day is very different. Some days I'll just lie in bed all day because I'm tired and some days I'll be out all day like I was today. Um, but it really does vary and also I didn't show a lot of socialising today as I also mentioned but some days I'll be out in the evening, some days I'll study with friends all day. Um, so yeah, just wanted to do a disclaimer. And yeah, it's been really fun and hopefully see you soon.